south side of Naperville at the intersection of Aero Drive and 83rd Street lies a community with a whole different view on life. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick has more on the Naper Aero Club. It all started with Vern Finzer's love of aviation and his vision for the future. That one day, Naperville would lead the way for transportation to go from this to this. Which is what we're doing now. So in 1953, he, Harold White, and Al Beidelman began the Naper Aero Club as a way to share their passion of flying with others and grow the field of aviation right in their own backyard. They had formed an air scout troop where young people could learn to fly. Many of us were, like myself, given the opportunity to go on and find a career in aviation, and they, they, they really fostered this, Harold and, uh, and my dad did, and the other airline pilots that were in the Naperville area at the time were out here instructing and, and teaching uh, young men to fly and giving them an opportunity to further their careers in aviation. And it, Through the small private airport and flying clubs, Vern's idea took flight with others and continues today. No other country has the general aviation freedom that we have here in the United States. Naper Aero is just an extension of that same thought process where uh, people love flying, they love airplanes, they love aviation, the freedom uh, that it represents and uh, they brought it even closer into their lives by building homes on, on a facility that has taxiways, hangars and, uh, and runways. That's what we are. We just, we love flying. To experience it firsthand, I strapped in and took off in Pastor's personal airplane to see what it's all about. And we're in the air. Ta da! Well, you can see the, the beauty that is Naperville, which is off to the north, off to the right. It's a view those along Arrow Drive can see often. With residents' houses right off the runway and most with an attached hangar, their motto is, why drive when you can fly? Uh, I took off this morning about quarter to six with a thermos of coffee in my airplane and uh, flew and watched the sunrise uh, from my airplane with a, with, a cup of with a cup of coffee. It was great. And, uh, or people use the aircraft for, uh, for business. Uh, if they travel for work, uh, you know, maybe they want to be in Iowa or Minneapolis or uh, South Carolina. Uh, they can uh, keep their airplanes in their hangars and they can use that. But you don't have to have your own plane or be a resident to take off with this hobby. Through the Aero Club's two flying clubs, several locals have become aviators themselves. Many of the houses have changed hands on Aero Drive too, and you make friends with all the new ones, and hopefully you can introduce some of them to flying. And we have many, several generations of pilots out here now too, where their parents had flown and now they're flying. Handing down their love of reaching new heights, just as Vern did when he acted on his passion for flight. Oh, it'll always be very special. Uh, that that this his dream of a uh, airport is still here, and that people are able to uh, still enjoy aviation in a manner that he would have appreciated. Yes, it's very special. I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. Want to take your life to new levels? Both flying clubs are currently looking for more members. For more information, visit NaperAero.net.